Hey everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I want to show you my three favorite chain links that I like to make in my jewelry making. So just stay tuned. Okay, grab your tools and let's get started. You're going to need some wire. Today I'm going to use 18 gauge and 20 gauge round wire. But depending on how thick you want your chain, you can go larger or smaller with your wire and you get a different look. If you go 16 gauge, you'll get a thicker, more substantial chain. Alright, let's start making some figure eight links. What I do is I pre-cut my wire ahead of time. I cut them to one inch lengths. I'm using 18 gauge wire, by the way, round wire. So I cut a bunch ahead of time and I always put one aside so I can use it as a to measure against. And I always make sure both ends are cut flush. Another quick tip I want to tell you about is to keep all your little loops the same size is you can mark your round nose pliers with a sharpie so you keep your wire at that spot every time and all your little loops will be the same size. Alright, so I take the end of my wire, put it where that's, that mark you made was and start twisting it around. You can use your thumb to push it the rest of the way from behind there. Sorry I went off camera a little bit. And you do you flip it around and you do the same thing to the other side. Start turning it and then you can use your thumb to push it along the rest of the way. of your loops aren't lining up you can use your flat nose pliers and kind of push them together. So I made a few figure eight links and after some experimenting I, I figured out that I needed an inch and a quarter of wire to make the elongated link. So I'm going to cut it to that length and make my loops on the end about half the size of the figure eight links. So I'm going to make a link on one end, flip it around, and do the opposite direction on the other side. And of course I repeat this process until I have enough links to complete my project. At some point you can start linking them together to make your chain. That's what your chain starts to look like. For the second chain style, I go ahead and make a bunch of figure eight links ahead of time, same as before with one inch of wire. time I take each loop and I give it a half turn. I 
grip one side in one plier and the other side in the other pliers and I twist. And then I go back and close them up. some point you can start linking them together. Keep in mind to open them to the side and not outward. You don't want to misshapen your loop. The lengths for this next chain take a quite a bit more wire, so I cut lengths of about 4 inches. And I just cut a bunch ahead of time. So about an inch and a half or so down one side I make a wrapped loop. If you are unsure on how to make a wrapped loop, check out this video here. So at the end of those wraps, you're going to make another loop and do the same thing, but this time you're going to overlap your first wraps with your second wraps. You may need to snip off your wire if you have too much, but in this case I don't need to, so I'm just going to bring it around and smoosh it down smooth. And make sure your loops are on the same plane and nice and uniform. So that's our first link. So from here on out we're going to start linking them together. So go ahead and you start the process all over again. Make a wrapped loop. The key to making chains like this is to remember to add your link in, which clearly here I forgot. So I made a wrapped loop and I forgot to add my link. But that's okay because you can always add them in later if you forget, which I always do. So I'll show you that in a second. Now that I have two uh, links to incorporate, I'm going to start my third link before I wrap it. I'm going to add my other link like this. I'm going to grab it with a narrow chair nose pliers so I don't smash my other link's loop. And I go ahead and make my wrap. my 
link to the other side. Okay, so that's how you link those together. You can make as many links as you want and you can make bracelets and necklaces, whatever you want. This is a necklace that I had made with those type of links and here's the other necklace I had made with the other type of links. Now these are already oxidized. So those are my top three chain designs that I go to when I'm making jewelry. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. And hit the subscribe button because I post new videos each week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.